Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gary GZ Duels, and I'm here today to bring you my agent deck for the September 2013 format. Uh, I'm very happy with this agent deck. I went through a lot of different variants uh, to come up with this. I'm very comfortable with this uh, Chaos Agent variant, and um, it's pretty cheap to make as well, so you don't really necessarily need those transmodifies. Uh, good news for everyone who's a budget player like myself. So without further ado, let me get into the deck profile for the monsters. We have three Mystic Shine Balls, two Trigodia, one BLS, two Archlord Christia, three Master Hyperion, one Agent of uh, Miracles Jupiter, one Honest, three Agent Agent of Creation Venus, one uh, Al Gen X Ally Birdman, two Tour Guide, uh, two Car Trooper, one Knight Assailant, three Agent of Mystery Earth, uh, two Maxi, and two Herald of Orange Light. Uh, for the spells, we have one Dark Hole, three Mystical Space Typhoon, and one Book of Moon. Uh, traps, we have uh, one Bottomless, one Torrential Tribute, one Compulsory Evacuation, two Call of the Haunted, and one Solemn Warning. Uh, in the extra deck, Black Rose Dragon, uh, Ancient Fairy Dragon, HTS, uh, Orient Dragon, Amadis, the Keeper of Illusions, Gataster, uh, Acid Golem, Leviathan Dragon, Levier, uh, Mech, Mech Equipped Engineer, uh, one Wind Up Zen Mains, Diagosto Phoenix, two Gachi Gachi, and uh, one Dark Mist. In the side deck, we have two Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer, uh, two Forbidden Chalice, Two X Y, a uh, three X Y Z encore, two Vanity's emptiness, two anti spell fragrance, two mental drain, and two DNA surgery. Okay, so um, you know the main deck is pretty straightforward, right? Because uh, there's light monsters, there are dark monsters. They kind of synergize with each other, and there's a lot of agent monsters. You remove agent monsters for Hyperion. Uh, you try to control the number of uh, fairy type monsters in your graveyard so you can special summon out Christia. And Christia, you want to use this effect to get back Honest, for example. You want to get back Herald of Orange Light. Uh, you know, Mystic Shine Balls are OP, but don't draw them because if you draw them, they suck. Uh, yeah, uh, if you're against uh, if you're against uh, Ophion, you know, you basically lose un unless you have one of these. You have uh, Agent of uh, Miracles Jupiter. You know, it gets to boost its own attack. If you guys don't know the effect, is once per turn you can remove from play. The agent mo one, the agent monster in your graveyard to select one face up light fairy type monster you control. The selected monster gains 800 attack until the end phase. Now, uh, so what that means is you can summon Jupiter. Jupiter has 1,800 attack by itself, and then you can use this effect boost 800 on itself. It becomes 2,600. It can get rid of Ophion if your opponent doesn't have answers, of course, provided that happens. Uh, also, you know if you have Honest uh, with any of these light monsters, uh, if you draw into Tour Guide, that's awesome. Uh, that's also a way to go. You can go into a rank 3 XYZ. You can go into something like Zen Mains, or if you want to be straightforward about it, you can go into Acid Golem, but I don't recommend that. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, so with that said, let's go into the uh, side deck because we talked about Ophion. We want to see what this uh, side deck will offer us in terms of getting rid of Ophion. So the best uh, answer I found was XYZ Encore. Now XYZ Encore is basically really awesome. Target one face up XYZ monsters your opponent controls that has XYZ materials. Detach all XYZ materials from it and if you do return it to the extra deck, then if there is a monster card in the graveyard among those detached XYZ materials, special summon as many of those monsters as as possible from the graveyard to your opponent's side of the field and face up defense position, their levels are reduced by one. Okay, so you know, you can get rid of Ophion, you know, your opponent can't respond to this as well. So if your opponent summons out Ophion, uh, they try to. The, once they summon it, you go XYZ Encore, you flip all their stuff back, they're, they end up with uh, level 3 rank uh, level three monsters. They can go into a rank 3 XYZ, but you know, at least is not Ophion, so uh, that's pretty good. I play 3 of these because Ophion is definitely a problem for this deck. Uh, you know, for Ophion also, we have Vanity's Emptiness, sometimes it works uh, when your opponent just summons out Caster and then summons out uh, another Evil Swarm monster, you flip up Vanity's Emptiness right away, uh, provided they don't have anything to get rid of this Vanity's Emptiness, they can't go into Ophion, so that's pretty good as well. Uh, Anti-spell, no, 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 hold on, no, that's not what I'm trying to say. Okay, yeah, uh, against other decks, uh, Prophecy, you'll have uh, Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer, it's really good, it shuts off their uh, Fate plays. Uh, you can have DNA Surgery, which uh, shuts off all their Fate plays as well, it breaks the synergy with their uh, Spellcaster monsters. Um, you know, if you have Mental Drain as well in there, they can't use Priestess from their hand, so that's also a way to go. 
Against dragons, those pesky, pesky dragons, Kaiku also helps in the sense that Kaiku, you know, shuts off them, uh, removing uh, cards from the graveyard. Uh, also, if you use Mental Drain, it shuts off, it shuts off twelve dragons. Okay, plus uh, basically three Veilers that they play and two or three Maxis that they play. So it shuts off basically half of their deck. So I think it's worth it to play Mental Drain, even though uh, as an Asian player you play uh, some hand traps as well. You play you know Honest, which is okay. So you play Honest, two Maxi, uh, two Herald, a uh, Orange Light. One Gen X Ally Birdman and two Trigodia. That's a lot of cards as well, but you know it's not as much as uh, you would do against a, a Dragon Ruler player because you shut off the whole entire hand. So um, I think it's worth it to play. And for that reason, we also pair it up with Forbidden Chalice because once you get rid of hand traps, there's nothing much uh, in the way of. Um, stopping your opponent's effects. Now I like Forbidden Chalice because you can use it even on your turn. So um, it's kind of like a, uh, it's kind of like a breakthrough skill, but I think it's quicker because you can just activate it. Instead of a breakthrough skill, you have to set it. Now you can choose to play breakthrough skill. There's nothing wrong with it. But I like Forbidden Chalice also because it gains 400 attacks. So sometimes when you're uh, fighting the defensive war and your opponent wants to run over one of your crucial monsters Then you can just simply go for Bin Chalice and you can get rid of your opponent's monster. No problem So that's why I play that uh, Anti-spell fragrance is also good against props. I talked about that shoot. I suck uh, Sorry, and uh, yeah, that's all I really have to say about uh, this deck uh, If you have any questions about the playstyle about um, the card choices, please Please feel free to drop in the comment section down below. If you have any suggestions, drop in the comment section down below. I want other people to see it as well as me because I want to improve this deck as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile. This is Gary GZ Duels signing out.